Hi, thanks for hanging out. In this video, a little utility project, I'll show you how I'll go about making this painting rack that I can hang parts from to make painting them easier. It's made from 100% leftover or scrap material I've got around the place. So let's get after it and I'll show you how I make it. Alright, I've got a few of these panels left over from the last project that we did. I've got three with pipe all the same size which I'll use to make the frame so I'll cut that off and then the larger sections of mesh that are still on the ends I'll cut those off as well to be able to make the frame that I'm going to hang all the hooks and other bits and pieces from. I've now got all the pipe cleaned up and I've got the pieces of mesh cut off so that I can reinstall those later. I'm going to make the frame rectangular. It's going to be about 2.1 meters or around about seven feet long or just over a meter wide or around about three and a half feet wide. I'm going to mitre the corners on all the bits of pipe and then weld it all together. As you can see, I've started to lay out the mesh panels now that I cut off the scraps earlier. I'm going to finish welding these out and then we'll come back and have a look at it afterwards.
what I'm going to do now is just cut some 6 foot lengths, 1.8 metre lengths of of rope to be able to tie up the frame and I'm just going to just melt the ends just so that it doesn't fray too much There we go, all done. I've thought of a couple of options to hang this from the roof. I've decided to use rope. The two methods that I thought that I could use would be to drill a hole through here, poke the rope through, tie a stop knot on the end so that it wouldn't pull back through. But what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to loop this through and then use a, a bowline knot. is a, a non-slip loop knot and then that will suspend from the ceiling. This allows me to take this off nice and easily if I ever need to and it shouldn't rub too much and deteriorate the quality of the rope. I've got this piece of 19 millimeter or three quarter inch plywood to give me extra spread with these eye bolts. I've got it secured to the purlins with some screws and now I'm gonna put some bolts through to be able to give it a bit more support. Okay, I've done a bit more adjustment with this and I've got it up at the height and I've got it quite level. I think it's in the position that I want it in for now. It's high enough for me to be able to reach from the ground comfortably, but not that high that I need to jump up and try and reach it. And I've got an arrangement of hooks that I can use to be able to hang parts off here to be able to paint them easily from very short ones to quite long ones. And I'll show you how that looks.
and there you have it I've got it at the level that I want and I've got it level as well with a little bit of adjustment that I did off camera it's high enough that I can reach it but not too low that I'm gonna find that I want to move it all the time it's a little bit cumbersome to move which is why I've put it a little bit high because I really didn't want to have to move it around too much I can just lengthen or shorten the hooks that I'll use to hang parts on to be able to get those at a height that I can paint them quite comfortably. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful or it may have given you an idea or inspiration to try something like this yourself. Any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. And remember, until next time, life's short, so get after it.